hi guys welcome to my channel it's Claudette don't forget to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel and guys don't forget to press the bell so you could get a video you will be notified when I post a video so okay guys in today's video I'll be doing salt mackerel rundown and I'm gonna cook it with um coconut juice and seasoning and all those nice stuff and i'm gonna eat it with dumpling and banana and yam usually that's what we eat it with in jamaica okay so first thing guy i'm gonna put my water to boil for the, the dumpling and banana then over here i put the for the salt mackerel. So guys, I bought three packs of salt mackerel. I buy the boneless salt mackerel. So I think that's enough. Okay, let me check the store. Okay guys. Okay. I bought the boneless mackerel. The boneless mackerel. This is the boneless mackerel. So it's a filet salt mackerel. So this is the one I bought and I got it the package. This is the package. This is the package I bought. So I bought three of these. I think about five comes in it because it's a lot in this. So I'm going to put it in the pot to boil because guys, it is salt. This is salt, so maybe I boil it for um, about 20 minutes. Or maybe I boil it twice. I'm going to do it twice. So I don't want all the salt to come out of it. I want a little bit of salt left in it so you could know it's uh, salt mackerel. Okay, now I'm going to pour the salt mackerel in the pot. So... Come with me. This is cassava. Cassava. So what I did, I grate the cassava. I'm going to make cassava dumplings. So what I did, I grate the cassava. I went to the Western store today and I didn't get, I didn't get the, um, the grated cassava. So I have to grate it myself. I didn't grate it, I blend it. So I was to blend it myself. So I'm gonna make this with flour. Guys, usually I use spelt flour, but I, some reason, I thought I have spelt flour, but I haven't got no spelt flour. So I have, um, I have, uh, I think it's wheat flour or something like that. So I'm just gonna let it work. When I look in my cupboard, there's no spell flour, and I have a little wheat flour. Usually, we use it with white flour, but I don't have any white flour, so I'm just gonna use what I have, okay? Because I am not going back to the store. Okay, guys, so I went to the West in the store, I was saying, and I bought yam. I bought yellow yam, and I bought green banana. Guys, I love yellow, I love white yam yellow yam is okay but my preference is white yam but and about green banana i don't like to buy these big ones they are some little tiny ones okay guys um what i usually do i usually just put a little vinegar in my water you know just put it on the cover and just put it in there so the food will come out a little bit clean okay and i just use just a little tip in the cover and you just dip it in in the in the in the vinegar in the in the water so okay guys what i do oh this is gonna break this is some of them didn't blend out properly guys so guys it's oh guys i put the flour in the with the cassava so it you don't need a lot of water so I just keep on doing this until 
it come together like this. So now I'm gonna put the the dumpling, not the dumpling, yeah. But the, the the food I peel. I already peeled the banana, the banana, and the yam. I already peel them. So I'm gonna put it in the pan. And guys, if you when you're peeling the banana, you could use the gloves and peel it, and you could pour a little cooking oil on the gloves so it doesn't stick. Okay, so now we're gonna pour, put the, the banana and the yam and the dumpling in the pot. I'm gonna make my dumpling. And guys, what I do, I just make little ones. I don't like big ones. I just make little dumplings. So this is my dumpling. Very small. water in in the, the salt mackerel so it's not too soft. Let me wash my hands and throw it off over here. I'll do one more one more and then I take it off. So that, when you're cooking clean up as you go. So when you finish, you don't have a big cleaning up to do. So guys, I have to turn on the fan. I forget to turn on the fan, totally forget to turn on the fan. So now I have to turn on, but it's noisy. As I said, you know, the fan is noisy. So bear with me. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna prep the seasoning and the coconut milk. So I'm gonna prep those two, the seasoning and the coconut milk, yes. Okay guys, as I tell you guys, anything I'm doing, I always have my, my, um, any meat I'm doing or any little thing, I have my jerk seasoning, and I have my all purpose. I always put two of them in there, a little bit, just, just the two of them. I always use them, you know? I don't know, it, it, I, and I blend up mine, and guys, I, I, I have to blend up my my garlic and I blend my scallion, this is scallion and this is thyme, thyme and this is scallion, right? I went to the West Indies store today and I get some stuff, so I blend, but these, um, the onion and the sweet pepper, it's okay, I'm going to put these in the pot with the coconut milk. A little all purpose. A little bit. But you know them salt her they don't really want them too much salt in a eat cause you know they so all purpose we have guys. Guys you know this is not too all purpose we have. One supposed to be jerk. Oh look who tell me Okay, so the jerk, the jerk, I have to take up two all purpose a while ago. And none of them that even could have said, God, I tell you, I two all purpose to take up. When I did it, and I said, no, you just watch me, so. I want to stay, so. I want to stay, so. I want to text Mr. Cardiff. 
you know, see, I say, hey, oi, you see, I do see them something, I want to you. Guys, I love to watch TV, Jane, man. He said, one never can go out when he says, you never watch him up on the time. I go out in can dance, he said, one never in can go out when he says, too much. You can't go that. Okay, guys, so this is it now, no more. Okay guys, so our salmon is boiled. So now I took it out of the fire and now I'm gonna clean it up, pick it up and there's a little bone in it, but I'm not gonna take them out. I'm just gonna leave them. So what I'm gonna do now, pick it up because we said pick it up. So we're gonna pick it up and then we put the, the coconut the coconut milk to boil and then we start from there so i'm going to pick up this first and then we do so okay i take you down so you can see what i'm doing guys and what i usually do i usually take off this stuff i don't like it This is done. The, the, the dumpling and the banana that is done. The food is done. So all we have now to finish is the is this. I think I could put this in now. I just throw it in. I throw it in and then I leave it to simmer. Then, when it comes to a boil, okay, guys. So the next time you see this, it's going to be. I'll leave this to come to a boil. So guys, it's been coming to a boil. It's been coming to finish. This is the end of the video, but I will put the finished product with my dumpling and banana on the table for you to see. Okay? I finished cooking and I put it on the table and this is how it looks. So, so guys, tell me if you like the way how I prepare it. Tell me if this is the way how you prepare it. Yeah, so let me know, okay? So guys, this is the end of the video. Um, I hope you like it. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And also put press the bell so you'll notify whenever I put a video up. Okay? Bye guys. Catch you next time.